Welcome to ETAP's video tutorial titled Load Flow Example 1. In this tutorial, the user will learn how to enter data into an existing one line diagram and run a simple load flow calculation. The first thing the user would need to do is input the data for each element. We will first start by entering in the transformer data. In order to do so, we will need to double click on the transformer and click on the rating tab. For the primary, we will input 13.8 kV. For the secondary, we will input 4.16 kV. We will also input the rated MVA as 10. When you click out of the MVA box, you will notice that ETAP automatically sets the max MVA to 10 and calculates the full load amps for the primary and secondary. ETAP also provides typical values for various parameters. For example, go to the impedance page and click on the typical Z and X over R button. The user will find that ETAP populates the percent impedance and X over R ratio for the transformer. Next, select OK. Looking back onto the one line, the user will notice that both bus 1 and bus 2 voltages have been automatically updated. Display annotations can be easily moved so that they can be seen more clearly. Now let's enter in the data for the power grid. Double click on the power grid and go to its rating page. Here we can see that ETAP automatically updated the nominal voltage for this element. Next, let's move on to the induction machine. Double click on the induction machine and go to the nameplate page. Here we can see that the rated voltage was automatically selected as NEMA standard rating. Now let's enter in the horsepower for this element. The horsepower we will be entering is 500. Notice that when we click out of the box, ETAP will automatically update the power factor, the efficiency, the full load amps, and other various data based on manufacturer or NEC data. Now that we have entered in all the necessary data, we are ready to run load flow analysis. Start by clicking onto the load flow analysis icon located in the top left corner. Then proceed to move your mouse to the far right corner where the run load flow icon is located. Once you have found the icon, click on it and a prompt will ask you for a report name. In this case, we will name the report LF for load flow. Click OK and ETAP will begin to display the load flow calculations and results onto the one line. Just like the display annotations, the results can be easily manipulated so that they can be seen more clearly.